Semiconductors A semiconductor is a material that has a limited ability to conduct an electrical current. Its resistance properties fall in the range between that of a conductor and that of an insulator. Silicon is the most used semiconductor material. However, germanium, gallium arsenide, and silicon carbide, a carbon variant, are also used for electronics components. Transistors, many kinds of diodes, silicon-controlled rectifiers, digital and analog integrated circuits, and photovoltaic cells are all semiconductor devices. In a normal conductor, the flow of electrons carries the current. In addition to that condition, semiconductors can carry the flow of electrons by the flow of positively charged holes in the electron structure of the material. A semiconductor's conductivity can be varied under an external electrical field. It can also be changed by adding other elements to the melted intrinsic material and then allowing the melt to solidify into a crystal with different conductive properties. Unlike metals, which exhibit increased resistance with increased temperatures, semiconductors exhibit increased conductivity with increased material temperatures. Insulators In an insulator, the electrons are more tightly bound to the atom's nucleus and, therefore, resist electron exchange. When you apply a voltage source to an insulating material, you will notice no resulting electrical current, because the lack of free electron exchange means that there is very little electrical conductivity. Materials such as asbestos, glass, rubber, and plastic are good insulators, which is why they often cover wires carrying electrical voltages. Ohm's Law Ohm's Law is the most fundamental law of electricity. A set relationship exists among voltage, resistance, and current in an electrical circuit, which Ohm's law expresses as follows. Current equals voltage divided by resistance, stated by these formulas, I equals E slash R, DC, or I equals V slash Z, AC. Resistance equals voltage divided by current, stated by these formulas, R equals E slash I, DC, or Z equals V slash I, AC. Voltage equals resistance multiplied by current, stated by these formulas, E equals I times R, DC circuits, or V equals I times Z, AC circuits. In the preceding formulas, I is the intensity, current, E is the electromotive force, and R is resistance. However, Ohm's law varies somewhat between AC and DC circuits, as figure 6.6 .6 and figure 6.7 illustrate, with Ohm's law triangles for AC and DC circuits. E. IR. Figure 6.6 .6 Ohm's law triangles for DC circuits. To find the correct formula using the triangles, simply cover the value that you want to find. What you see remaining is the formula for that value. For example, if you want to know the formula for finding current, cover the I, what you see remaining is E slash R. Therefore, the formula you are looking for is this. I equals E slash R, which we know to be true. Exam alert. On the electronic information module, you must know Ohm's law and be able to apply it correctly. Ohm's law states that current equals voltage divided by resistance, I equals E slash R, resistance equals voltage divided by current, R equals E slash I, and voltage equals current multiplied by resistance, E equals IR. Be sure that you understand this formula and this section thoroughly. Most of the electronics questions that you will be asked can be solved by applying Ohm's law. In most AC circuits, the circuit values are impacted by a combination of resistance, In most AC circuits, the circuit values are impacted by a combination of resistance, capacitance, and inductance. Therefore, the Ohm's law triangle for AC circuits is just a little different from that of a DC circuit, as figure 6. 7 shows. The triangle is the same as Ohm's law for DC, except that impedance replaces resistance and voltage replaces electromotive force. V. IZ. 
using Ohm's law to find resistance. If you know both the current through a circuit and the voltage applied to the circuit, you can find the resistance of the circuit by using the Ohm's law formula for resistance, which is R equals E slash I for DC circuits or Z equals V slash I for AC circuits. In figure 6.8, what is the resistance of the circuit? 1 equals 5A. Because the current is 5A and the voltage is 50V, the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current, so 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10 ohms. Using Ohm's law to find current. If you know the voltage applied to a circuit and the resistance of the circuit, you can use the Ohm's law formula for current, which is I equals E slash R for DC circuits and I equals V slash Z for AC circuits. In figure 6.9, what is the current through the circuit? Because the voltage is 10V and the resistance is 5 ohms, the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance, or impedance, so 10 fifths equals 2A. Using Ohm's law to find voltage. If you know the current flowing through a circuit, and the resistance of the circuit, you can determine the voltage applied to the circuit by applying Ohm's law formula for voltage, which is E equals IR for DC circuits and V equals IZ in AC circuits. In figure 6.10, what is the voltage being applied to the circuit? Because the current is 2A and the resistance is 25 ohms, the voltage is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance impedance, so 2 times 25 equals 50V. Power Another common measurement, in addition to those that Ohm's law addresses, is that of overall power. Knowing the power of an electrical circuit, piece of equipment, or entire electrical system is crucial in knowing how much electricity you need to deliver. Power represents the rate of work, or the overall amount of electricity, that a device needs to operate, and is measured in watts, W. To find power, you must know that 1 watt equals 1 ampere multiplied by 1 volt, or P equals E times I. So if you have a piece of equipment, that is rated for 2 amps at 110 volts, the overall power consumption, is 220 W, because 2 times 110 is equal to 220.